하나님 아버지 오늘도 저희를 사랑하시고 고난주간 특별 성회를 통해서 우리가 예수 그리스도의 십자가의 고난의 발자취를 따라갈 수 있도록 인도하여 주시니 진심으로 감사드립니다 아버지 하나님 이 고난 주간을 통해서 우리의 정과 욕심을 십자가에 못 받게 하여 주시고 우리의 옛사람을 우리의 옛 습관을 십자가에 못 받고 이제 나는 죽고 내 안에서 예수 그리스도만 살아서 역사하는 놀라운 기적을 허락하여 주시옵소서 아버지 하나님 우리 대한민국이 위기 가운데 있지만 은 아버지 하나님께서 이제 대한민국을 건질 새로운 대통령을 보내주시기를 어 간절히 원하옵나이다 5월 9일 대통령 선거를 통해서 대한민국 자유민주주의를 수호하는 하나님의 사람이 뽑힐 수 있도록 인도하여 주시옵소서 공의를 행하고 진리를 구하며 아버지 앞에 엎드리는 믿음의 대통령이 뽑힐 수 있도록 인도하여 주시옵소서 아버지 하나님 오늘 저희들 귀한 하나님의 사람을 통해서 십자가의 말씀을 듣기 원합니다 이 시간에 말씀을 듣는 순간에 저희들의 마음을 열어주시고 믿음으로 말씀을 받을 수 있도록 인도하여 주시옵소서 이제 이 말씀이 우리의 모든 어둠을 몰아내 주시옵소서 이 말씀이 우리의 모든 문제들을 해결시켜 주시옵소서 이 말씀이 우리의 모든 병마를 깨끗이 고쳐 주시옵소서 아버지 하나님 이제 우리의 삶이 변화되기를 원합니다 오늘 말씀을 통하여 우리가 세상을 버리게 하여 주시고 십자가의 사람이 될수 있도록 인도하여 주시옵소서 이제 다음 주간에는 페루에서 남미 최초로 구속사 세미나가 열립니다 아버지 하나님 아버지 도와주심으로 이제 남미에도 구속사의 말씀이 널리 널리 전파될 수 있도록 인도하여 주시옵소서 이번 고난 주간에 우리의 발걸음을 강권적으로 움직여 주시옵시고 날마다 날마다 예수님의 십자의 고난의 발자취를 따라가므로 이제 가정의 모든 문제가 해결되는 삶 기적을 체험하게 하여 주시옵소서 오늘 또 모든 예배 시종을 살아계신 하나님께 맡기옵고 사랑이 많으신 예수 그리스도 이름으로 간절히 기도 올리옵나이다 아멘
멀리서 잎사귀 있는 한 무화과 나무를 보시고 혹그 나무에 무엇이 있을까 하여 가셨더니 가서 보신 적 잎사귀 외에 아무것도 없더라 이는 무화과의 때가 아닙니다 예수께서 나무에게 일러 가라사대 이제부터 영원토록 사람이 내게서 열매를 따먹지 못하리라 시니 제자들이 이를 듣더라 이는 하나님의 말씀이니라 아멘 고난 주간 둘째 날입니다. 오늘 제목은 월요일 권위의 날입니다. 1999년 3월 29일 원로 목사님 선포하신 말씀을 영상을 통해서 은혜 받도록 하겠습니다. 여러분들이 신앙생활 가운데 예수님의 고난 동안 동안에 참그 마음이 어땠을까 like 그 심령을 헤어려서 바로 여러분들이 예수의 마음을 가지고 예수님의 고난 동안 어떻게 하는가 하나님께서 원하고 바라는 이십니다 우리 하나하나 여러분들의 말씀도 주시라 When I give you the verses, 적으시고, may every single one of you catch every word and write it down. Also, after you send your husband and children to work in school and clean the house, 
성령님이 역사해서 깨닫는 지식과 지혜와 명철과 천명의 신이 임할 줄로 저는 확실합니다 음. 예, 먼저 제목 적으시죠 오늘 예, 두째 날입니다 예, 권위의 달 삶의 권위가 있어야 예, 인격적으로 정명받죠 예, 오늘 첫째 무화과 나무를 First, 저주하심 적어놓고 잠깐 말씀을 드리겠습니다 예수님의 이땅 위에 지상 생활의 가운 지상생활에서 마지막 한 주간 육체와 정신의 가장 큰 괴로움 억조 창생 인간이 다 동원돼서 예수님의 한 주간 그 괴로움을 당한 그것을 위로한 단들 위로가 되지 않습니다 되지 않아요 송곳으로 칼로 바깥음을 팍팍 쑤시는 그런 괴로움을 당하고 계시는 거예요 거의한 종의 시끄만 걸자로 Would we be able to understand this from just reading the black letters written on the white paper in the Bible? We must first have a yearning, fervent desire, prostrated before God throughout the week and follow the steps of our Lord. 베드로전서 2장 22절 말씀대로 주의 바자질을 따라가는 예수 그리스도의 바자질을 따라가는 그러한 체험적인 신앙이 아니면 주의 마음을 배할 수 없습니다 육체의 고난이란 뭐야? 굶주림 배고픔 starvation 냉수 한 그릇도 대접하지 않습니다. They did not give him even a single cup of cold water. 저희들은 하루에 삼 대. We eat three times a day. 한 번만 먹어도 두 대는 저희들 먹잖아요. Or two times at the least. 예수님은 한 대도 없어요. Jesus did not have even a single meal. 여러분 자식이 속을 새길 때 When your children are causing trouble. 진수 반찬 Even if you are wealthy, 그 상을 받는다 해도 식사하시겠습니까? 밥 아주가 또 연는 것이 모래 씹는 것처럼 속상해 보세요. When you are so stressed, 입에 밥이 안 들어옵니다. 만사가 다 귀찮고 내가 왜이 땅에 And everyone who says creation, was I born to put up with something like this? I'd rather die. Listen carefully, please. Why would Jesus say, whoever gives a cup of cold water to drink, he shall not lose his reward from Father? 전부 다 예수님을 원수시하고 원수시하고 예수님 봤다게 되면은 눈들이 떠나요. 너무 미워가지고. 아까 말씀했지만은 육체 고난이란 첫째 굶주림. 두 번째 매 맞음. 세 번째 죽음 이것이 육체적인 아픔이죠 
Mental suffering now means being stained, scorned, misunderstood, mistreated, referring to inner pain. Prophet Isaiah said earlier around 700 BC in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 He was pierced through for our transgressions. Everybody thought that he was punished because he sinned. But Jesus was pierced because of our multiple sins. But people said, oh, it's because he committed sins. He was crushed for our iniquities. 그러니 이러한 길을 이사야 53장 예언의 말씀을 이루기 위해서 가시는 예수님의 마음을 누가 해야 되느냐 오늘 아침에 새벽에 나와서 주의 뜻을 깨닫고자 하는 여러분들 이 시간에 우리가 주님의 심정을 헤아리고 있잖아요 그것만 해도 우리가 얼마나 복음입니까 예수님을 from this, how blessed are we? We are the ones who desire to know Jesus. We are the ones who get to know Jesus through the word. That is why his beating, his hunger, his pain, the injustice that was done to him, they were all given to him to open the way for the forgiveness of our sins. Starting from yesterday, Today comes the second day. Hence, when we come upon the Passion Week, we must follow the suffering steps of Jesus according to the first Peter chapter 2 verse 21. Jesus is Jesus and I am I. No, we should never be separate from each other. Jesus and I should never be separated by faith. We see how Jesus bore the sins of humanity 2,000 years ago and walked this path of suffering to destroy and take away all death so that we can be reconciled to God so that we can converse with God and open the way of forgiveness for us. And that is the path that we must follow this Passion Week. Let us truly fathom this. And no longer delay praying to our God. Because when you believe and pray, there will certainly be answers from God. Believe in this. When we correctly receive this suffering and utilize it well, our saints, our church, will experience amazing great growth and God's amazing grace will never leave from their heads. Please believe in this. Our saints, believers, must follow the path of suffering of Christ according to the word. We must not doubt the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the scriptures written by the Holy Spirit as we follow the path according to the word of God. Now death is punishment. Death is the wages of our own sins. However, our Lord is without sin whatsoever. He has none. If he were born like us, born by flesh and blood, then he would have sin. But how Jesus was born without man, he was born, conceived only by the Holy Spirit. That is Jesus. We must be very careful today. Because in Korea, there are about 30 some people who self-claim to be Jesus. All the curses written in the Bible would befall them double time. Double. Jesus is a creator. 
하나님이에요. He is God. 그분은 스스로 계신 분입니다. He is who he is. 사람은 피조물이에요. But man is his creation. 우리 한국에 서른 몇 사람이 있다는 대림 예수 자칭하고 있지만 아니 그것들이 Jesus. 언제 우리를 위해서 When did they come 말씀대로 or live for our sake 찾았습니까? according to the word? 억적으로 찬생을 위해서 When were they hung high on the cross on the hill 좋습니까? of Golgotha for every person who ever walked on the planet of the earth? And this creation, there's nothing that is alike. When you take a handful of sand from the seashore and look them through the microscope or some special lens, not a single grain is the same. All the leaves of acacia tree look the same to us, but pick a branch. All those leaves on that branch look different. Are the twins? Are they the same? Yes, they look similar. But when you look at them detail, in detail, one by one, they are so different. There's nothing that is the same in heaven and earth. What about stars? What about angels? None of the host of the angels are the same. Of the Nearly seven billion people on this earth. Are any two people the same? Nobody. None at all. Then who can be? How can there be two Jesus? Jesus came. And was hung on the cross two thousand years ago. He came and lived according to the word, according to the prophecies. He lived according to the word. He worked according to the word. Obeyed according to the word. Was crucified as guilt offering for the sins of mankind. He was in the tomb for three days. He was in the power of death and rose. And appeared eleven times during the forty days after his resurrection. And he ascended into heaven. As 500 people watched him ascend on Mount Olives, and he will come back. Listen carefully. He is without sin. Please write down. 요한 1서 3장 5절 고린도 후서 5장 22절 베드로전서 2장 22 이사야 53장 9절 히브리 4장 15 적으세요. 인격에 있어서 예수님은 흠이 없었다. 베드로전서 1장 19절 예수님은 하나님 아버지의 거룩하신 자입니다. 거룩한 자입니다. 예수님 자신은 Jesus himself did not deserve the curse of death. However, he took it upon himself for the sake of sins of mankind. He chose to walk the path of atonement Matthew 27, verse 24, also tells us that even the judge, the governor of Judea, Pilate, the Pilate, Jesus himself could not find any wrongdoings in Jesus. 
내가 볼때 이분은 무죄. He said this man is innocent. 적으세요. Write it down please. 빌라도의 아내까지도 아내까지도 his wife. 재판하는 자기 남편 빌라도에게 her husband during the trial. 마태 27장 19절 다 같이 읽겠습니다. Let's read it together. 예수를 재판하는 재판장입니다. Pilate was a judge in the trial of Jesus. He was a governor of Judea at the time. Now his wife. His wife. What did his wife do? Let's read together. Matthew chapter 27, verse 19. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent him a message saying, have nothing to do with that righteous man. For last night, I suffered greatly in the dream because of him. Yeah. The wife has such a frightening dream that she sent a messenger to her husband telling him that, that righteous man, she was a Gentile. She was Roman. Yet she said, have nothing to do with this righteous man. He don't know how much he suffered in a dream last night. Righteous man, doesn't this alone indicate that Jesus is sinless? Who told her? In the dream, God worked through the dream. So please write down. Luke 23, verses 12 to 23. Hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 through 16. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 28. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26. John chapter 8 verse 46. John chapter 14 verse 30. John chapter 10, verse 19. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. If I continue with this instruction, uh, with this introduction, then like this, I would not be able to discuss the main part. So let us go on. Jesus cursed the fig tree. Jesus and his team went to Bethany, Bethany, to the house of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. After his entry to Jerusalem, Jesus looked around once and retired to, the Beth retired to Bethany. He just left. Then early in the morning, next day, Jesus went to inspect the city of Jerusalem. And on the way, the Bible says he became hungry. See, Lazarus' house must have been poor. Even if they were to cook, for how many people would they have to yes, cook? Him. Not counting Humble. their own family, they had to cook for 13 people because there's one Jesus and the 12 disciples a total 13 people. So you would have to have 13 bread if you're going to eat bread. And plus three family members. So they have to have at least 16 bread so that they could barely satisfy their hunger. But how hungry was Jesus that he went to the fig tree on the way? But the fig tree was full of leaves, and he looked for the fruit, but he found none. Jesus is a creator. When the Creator wants to see and call the creation, 
The creation must respond to him. But there was no response. In other words, there was no fruit. No longer shall there ever be any fruit from you. A single statement. They saw Jesus cursing the fig tree and then they went off to the city. The temple, which is the altar, the divine house of prayer, was turned into a house of business. So much that the Bible reports that the Pharisees love money. Now when they returned, the disciples saw that the fig tree that had been cursed in the morning because it did not have any fruit, they saw that that fig tree was completely dried up, down to its roots. So being dried up down to its roots show that he has stripped away it when it's right to life. How frightening is this? So Jesus is teaching us a lesson through this fig tree. Through this fig tree, he is urging us to repent. He tells us to repent of our sins. He tells us to get right up from the idleness and be zealous. The authority of the word, the authority. Once the word goes out, it never returns empty. As a hunter shoots a beast, its prey, with the blast, the bam, the bullet hits the prey. How embarrassing would it be if he missed? However, for Jesus, once Jesus speaks of his word, the word returns as a fruit for sure. Today, we must understand such word of Jesus, such authority, this word of authority. Only then we can really believe in Jesus and follow him. When Jesus said to pray, that's a word of authority. This is not a word of vain. Whether it's a big sound or a small sound, every word that proceeds from the mouth of Jesus has a power and authority. That's why his words have authority. That is why we can believe in Jesus. That is why we follow Jesus. Those who claim themselves to be Jesus, claim themselves to be a savior of this world speaks in vain that they are the deliverers do they have such authority tell them to try a curse let alone the fig tree try cursing a pumpkin will it dry up can they silence silence the sea and the wind can they bring back bring the dead back to life can they heal the sick can they open the eyes of the blind? Listen carefully, please. The curse of the tree was to rebuke the Israelites who bore no fruit to God. God could have killed the Israelites right then. Like the fig tree. But look at God's love. His fervent love that desires to make the Israelites understand and repent through that fig tree. When the lightning strikes, it does not strike man, but a tree next to the man instead. God wants us to see that and realize and understand. Secondly, it shows that the fruitless Israelites will perish. Israelites without fruit will certainly perish. That's what the lesson is. And this is a fervent, burning love of God. 
성전 청결 성전 조사 He inspected the temple. 타락한 This 종교에 대한 경고입니다. Against a corrupted religion. 무슨 말씀이에요? How frightening is this word? 예수님 성전을 보게 되면요. 여기에 몇만 명이 앉아 있던 지간에 It doesn't matter if there are tens of thousands of people. Jesus could see right through every single person's heart. 일찍이 이사야는 Isaiah has said 별까지 이름을 하나님이 다 불러주셨어요. 올라 천문학자들이 Can today's astronomers name all the stars? 눈에 보이지 않는 They are unable to discover the stars spread out to the infinity, invisible to our eyes. For instance, there are several billions of stars, and all of them have their names. God calls them all. The psalmist also said so in Psalm 137. After Jesus entered Jerusalem on Sunday, he retired to Bethany. And the next morning, early in the morning, Jesus went from Bethany with his disciples back to Jerusalem. They were going back to Jerusalem. The Bible says Jesus became hungry. Let us hear not only that Jesus became hungry, but I pray that you and I will have the faith to satiate Jesus' hunger. Jesus became hungry. Oh Lord, when I don't believe, when I don't understand, and don't live by the word, how hungry we become. And how starving you become. It doesn't satisfy God. It's not satisfying Jesus. When God sees me, he finds no satisfaction. When my soul is withered and dried up, how hungry would our Lord Jesus be? Because of me, how Jesus would be miserable and frustrated. We must realize this from that. In the Lord, we must become the people of the temple. But haven't we all become orphans with a father or mother lost and wandering by the road? By the road, this fig tree was found only full of leaves. Only full of leaves. Jesus saw the fruitless fig tree and dear saints Jesus is entering today. He was on his way back to Jerusalem to see the temple. Now wouldn't he curse me who is like this fig tree only full of leaves by the road? Wandering streets like orphans. Jesus himself spoke. Don't be those without fruit. Please be those who are with fruit. In Ephesians or James chapter three verse seventeen and below says so. Please write down these verses. Matthew chapter twenty-one verse nineteen. Mark eleven verse twenty through twenty-one. John chapter seven verse thirty-two. John chapter seven verse forty-three. Forty-four. Fifty-two. So I say, "I just get going." Please write down the lessons from the sign. The sign of the fig tree reveals Jesus Christ's humanity and divinity. Please 
Please write that down. 예수님께서 줄섰다는 것은 Jesus became hungry. 인성을 This reveals his humanity. 예수님의 말씀에 따라 and the fig tree withered at Jesus' word. And this reveals his divinity. Do we want to see the sign of curse and judgment? Like the tree full of the Israelites were only full of religious rituals and no actual fruits of faith. Jesus warned how they would be cursed from this and cursed. Next, Jesus cleansed the temple. Matthew 21, verses 12-17. Mark 11, verses 15-19. Luke 19, verses 45-48. Please write down carefully. Jesus cleansed the temple two times in his life. First was when he began his public ministry. That's in John chapter 2, verses 13 through 21. When Jesus went up to the temple twice, he took measures to straighten out what was wrong. As I said earlier, this was at the beginning of his public ministry. That's in John chapter 2, verses 13 through 21. And secondly, the second time was during the suffering week when the end time was near. In Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 through 17. Look at this. Please write it down. Solomon, the first temple, the Solomon's temple, was destroyed in 580 B.C. by the Babylonian army. After the people returned from the captivity, Zerubbabel built the second temple. In 520 BC, which existed until Jesus. Then King Herod came to buy the hearts of the Israelites. He tried to expand the second temple to Zerubbabel's temple. So he began the construction in 19 BC. And by the time it was finished and dedicated in 8 AD, oh, eight years later, it was dedicated eight years later. The former appearance was completely gone. However, the construction and remodeling continued since then until 
46년이 걸렸으며 요한복음 2장 20절 그러나 주 70년 로마 군대에 의해서 완전 파괴 성전 뒤뜰에서 온통 물질의 눈이 어두워 한치고 있는 더럽고 부정한 무질서 성전 안에는 온갖 재물이 썩어져가는 꼴을 보신 예수님 타락한 상태를 보신 주님은 의분을 의분을 일으킨 것이다 그래서 내 집은 My house. 기도하는 집이라 그랬죠. His house of prayer. 강도의 궁유를 맡지 말라 그랬습니다. Robert's den. Jesus. 적으세요. So write this down. 예수께서는 Jesus. 두 선자의 예언을 prophecies of the two prophets. 이용하면서 이사야 오 십육 절 칠절. That's Isaiah fifty six verse seven. 에레미야 칠절 십일절. Jeremiah chapter seven verse eleven. And for your reference, write also Psalm 8, verse 2. Let me do just one more. The wrath of Jesus. The wrath of Jesus. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give sacrifices to God in the temple. The priests were to give That's what the priests were to do. They were to give sacrifice to God in the most holy way in the temple. However, they manipulated and abused their religious power and opportunity to rather defile the temple. Temple is a house of prayer. 여러분들이 기도를 사모해야 돼요. You must yearn to pray. 반드시 하나님과 대화가 되기 때문에. Because the prayer is surely conversation with God. 반드시 주님의 이름으로 기도하게 되면은 이루어집니다. If you pray to God in the name of the Lord, you will surely be heard. 하나님께 안할 수가 없죠. So we cannot not long and yearn to pray. 하나님께서 기도를 통해서 만나겠다고 약속하기 때문에. Because God promised that I will meet with you through prayer. 기도하지 않고서는 하나님 만난 법이 없습니다. 기도하지 않고서는 하나님의 응답을 받을 수 없습니다. 성전에서 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하는 모든 기도는 반드시 하나님 믿고 또 그들 대로 우리에게 그대로 시행한다는 것을 믿으시기를 바랍니다. 성전은 기도하는 집에. The church, this church, is the house of prayer. So how happy are we? How blessed are we? Because we are in the house of prayer. God opens His eyes and opens His ears to this house day and night, and to listen to our prayers. 열왕기상 8장 29절에 기록되었잖아요 왕상 9장 3절에도 똑같은 말씀이 기록되었습니다 듣어요 성전은 기도한 집인데 성전은 우양 소나 양이나 매매하는 장소가 되고 말았습니다 이런 못된 것들은 어디 있습니까 Their eyes were dim because of money. 
But it was very cumbersome and burdensome to do. So they only brought the money and bought the sacrificed animals near Jerusalem. So as long as they paid, they ignored the blemishes of the animal. So if they don't buy at the temple because they had brought their own from their hometown, then they would pay the fight and say, hey, your sacrificed animal has blemishes. Why would they do that? Because they didn't make enough money. 거예요. You see, the priests and the business people have 사랑입니다. set this all up. They were completely corrupted. Jesus is God himself. Would he not know about this? So young. The house has become a place of business. A busy place because of the sheep, the oxen, and money. The house of God has fallen to a place of battleground for religious power. Is this the house of prayer? That's what Jesus scourged with whip and kicked and overturned the tables. In the ancient days, as well as today, those who come to the temple but don't pray will receive fearful, fearful judgment because church is house of prayer. It is a house where only the word is prayed and the word of Jesus Christ is heard. People may ask you, where are you going? Then you should answer, I'm going to pray. Oh, but you can pray anywhere. But you see, there is a place designated by God and that place is church. Let's read just one more verse and conclude. Let's all turn to 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 16. Let's read verse 16 first. 1 Kings 8, verse 16. Since the day that I brought my people Israel from Egypt, I did not choose a city out of all the tribes of Israel in which to build a house that my name might be there. You see, it speaks of a house that my name might be there. And then verse 29. Let's read from verse 28. Please write it down. Second Chronicles chapter six verse nine. 역대 구장, 육장 구절. 그 다음에 구장, 구장. And also First Kings chapter nine, verse. First Kings chapter nine. 삼절 있겠습니다. Verse three. 삼절. 시작. And the Lord said to him, I have heard your prayer and your supplication, which you have made before me. I have consecrated this house which you have built by putting my name there forever. In my eyes, and my heart will be there perpetually. When you come to church, where God's eyes and his heart and his ears are, God is watching you. When you come to this church, he opens his ears to you and listens to everything you say. So whatever we pray in the church, 
기도해야 됩니다. It is house of prayer for all people. 이 기도한 집 어떤 개돌이나 받으라고 돈이나 꾸라고 어떤 장사 그것 때문에 교회 나온다면 큰일입니다. And if you come out to church for that reason, you will be greatly troubled. This church has been consecrated and set apart and designated by God. Let us write just one more. Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse nineteen through twenty. Deuteronomy twenty-nine, verses twenty-two and twenty-eight. Psalm fifty-two, verse five. Chapter one, chapter twenty-two. Let us end here. 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 Let